Tonight, we're leaping into service with the help of Seropimus International Huntington Beach and Women Helping Women here at the beautiful Waterfront Beach Resort, a Hilton Hotel. That's buying all these. Oh, for the good of the girls and the women. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. So I'm here with Maureen Sloan. She's the co-chair of Seropimus International Huntington Beach. Tell me about this event tonight, Leap Into Service. Uh, we started Leap Into Service um, three years ago, actually on February 29th. So that's where we got the idea, Leap, leap. leap Year, Leap Day. So um, every year we, we kick off the year leaping into service by holding various fundraising events. We raise money for our charities that benefit women and girls in the community. So how did uh, the connection come about between Seropterus International Huntington Beach and WHW? Uh, Janie Walicki and I go way back. Um, we're all in the Leadership Academy in the Chamber. We're, we're good friends. We're all kind of community servants, uh, Athenians, they, they call us. Um, I really admire their work. They help a lot of women kind of re-enter the job uh, market. Um, after going through hardships, they train them, they clothe them, and get their professional skills up to snuff, and um, they've, they've really changed lives. And that's, that's what Seropimus is all about. Women helping women, and we're women helping women. What a noble cause. So tell me about a little bit about what's going on here this evening. We, I think we've got, it's a fundraiser, we've got, uh, it looks like we've got a silent auction and some more going on. Can you tell me a little more about that? Yeah, well this evolved because um, the Hilton, who's just a wonderful partner of ours, we, um, we want to bring the community to the hotel. It's not just for tourists and visitors. Our hotel services so many charitable events and we thought the big fancy sit-down dinner is a little bit pricey, so when the recession hit, we thought of a so, more social event, less formal event. Um, people are all into wine tasting. Um, we've got wonderful sommeliers and selections here. So we made it a, a very casual, social, informal event where people can arrive at their leisure, leave at their leisure. And actually, it's not a silent auction, it's a raffle. So they don't have to think about it. They don't have to look at the bid sheet. They buy tickets, they drop it in the prize they want. And we have some amazing, generous donations. Strawberry Farms Golf Course, uh, clipper tickets, jewelry, uh, amazing stuff. So it's something for everyone. Well, Maureen, thank you so much for your interview tonight. It's fantastic to see two organizations coming together to make change happen in this community. Here we are. Helping women and girls in our Women helping women, yes. And throughout the world. I'm here with Janie Walicki. The fundraiser is for WHW tonight, and she is the CEO. And I just would like you to tell me a little bit about your organization. Sure, so WHW was founded 20 years ago by two survivors of domestic abuse. And really what they tried to do is to help women get back to work without having to make a decision about feeding their family or looking good for an interview. So when they first started out, they started collecting gently used women's professional clothing, throwing it in the trunk of their car and driving from shelter to shelter trying to find women who needed help. And that first year we served 67 women and this last year we served over 6,000 people with our comprehensive employment supportive services. That's incredible. So a lot of money is going to be raised tonight. Could you tell me a heartfelt story of uh, how these dollars are spent and what kind of difference and impact it makes in people's lives? Sure. Uh, we had a client named Cherish who uh, was coming out of an abusive situation. Her husband had been abusing her, but kind of the last straw was when she found out that her husband was abusing her daughter. And so she kind of ran in the middle of the night and went to a shelter and all she really had were the clothes that were on her back. When she came to us, she told us, you know, the, I'm, the, I'm from a long, long line of welfare families. My mother got welfare, my grandmother got welfare, and I didn't know that I could ever take care of myself. And so she went through all of our programs and did an amazing job. And today she's a patient care coordinator at Hope Hospital. And she has her own apartment, she has her own house. Her daughter's in high school now and great grades. And she's just a, a wonderful example of the exact kind of client that we serve every day at WHW. Wow, that's incredible. I love to hear stories such as the one you told us. And we're here with Janie. She's one of uh, three Athena Award winners here at the Waterfront tonight. And if you would like information about Seropimus or becoming a member, we do have information at the front desk. So we make sure you join us. Okay. Envision with me, if you will. We have two great organizations coming together. Seroptimus Huntington Beach, Women Helping Women, to be women helping women helping women.
We're here with Kimberly, co-president of Seroptimus. Uh, Kimberly, tell me how you got involved with the organization. I've been involved with Seroptimus since 1999. I started in Northern California. I've been in four different clubs. And when I moved to Huntington Beach, I decided I'd need to be involved down here in Huntington Beach as well. Wow. Well, with so much pride in our city from the charity that we have just seen displayed this evening, it's, it's amazing to be a part of Huntington Beach. With Surf City Highlights, this is Jeremy Celentano.